Eddie Graham loved having his shooters. You know, like I said, Jack and Jerry Briscoe stayed their, their whole careers. You know, they went to Carolina a couple times, Mid-Atlantic, but their whole investment was in Florida. And those two guys were awesome. They were awesome. You know, I enjoyed I enjoyed my – there was – when I started moving up from second and third match to fourth match semi, I started uh, doing a lot of six-man tag team matches with the Briscoe brothers so I could learn how to tag in and out and everything. Their big deal was they always put me in the middle when the introductions, you know. I always had to stand in the middle. So when the referee went to check them, they'd raise their hands and slap the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was their big deal, and I started going, what the hell? Then I finally realized that was a big kick for them, so I let them get away with it all the time. You know, I didn't want to know he – I was a green rookie, you know, and I had two of the best <laughs> shooters in the country. And I was a green rookie, so I'd say, what the hell? It's only a little slap in the face. <laughs> but those two guys took care of me, took me under their wing, Jack and Jerry Briscoe, even Jerry being the booker, assistant booker, they took me under their wing. I traveled with them all the time. Every show I had to ride with them, of course, and they ribbed the hell out of me. They left me on the side of the road. I don't know how many times I got left on the side of the road. So, what know. do they do? You stop to go to the bathroom, and then they take off yeah. without you? Yeah. Uh, they they call P P stop and they go to get out the door and I'm already out the door because I'm in the back seat. They're the P and they just take off. Me and Don had matches for the uh, Florida Heavyweight Title for a while. We had a program going for like three or four months and Don was after me and I'd always try to uh, get out of it by the skin of my teeth. He slip on a banana peel, all that. That's what I always loved about Don Morocco. This guy could get beat every night. Every night you could beat Don Morocco. But he had more heat than the, than anybody in the territory. He got more heat getting beat than anybody I know. He just kept his heat. He just kept his heat. And, of course, he had uh, Humperdin, too. So that helped out. So, you know, the, what it was was they brought in the bounty. Humperdin supposedly paid Ernie Ladd to come in and interfere in the match on the bounty on me with that. That led up to my program with Ernie Ladd. But uh, Ernie Ladd came in off a double knockout, and he had a mask on. And, you know, he had a mask on and came in, and while I was knocked out, he came off the top rope and landed and splashed me and Mar put Morocco on top of me for one, two, three. And, you know, people went crazy in Miami. So I almost started a riot. <laughs> <laughs> it almost started a damn riot. But then, of course, you know, the camera, uh, the camera crew was around. Some of they were sneaking around, the camera crew. All of a sudden, they popped up, and they went in the dressing room, and they caught Humperdinck Payne. Ernie Ladd, a ton of money for what he did. <laughs> Find us on Facebook and Instagram at VOC Nation Wrestling Network and follow us on Twitter at VOC Nation.